Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs, and today we're going to be doing something that uh, is going to benefit a lot of newbies, a lot of new people to the whole Discord bot creating scene. Um, today I'm going to ask you to download Node.js. This basically is a library that offsprings from JavaScript. This will allow us to do a lot of our functions and stuff within the uh, text editor. We also want you to download Discord.js just because, you know, that is exactly what we're going to be using. We're not going to be using RS, any of that kind of stuff. This is a discord.js tutorial. Um, a lot of people get mixed up uh, when they're watching tutorials and try to mix um, C Sharp and uh, JavaScript together to create Discord bots. Don't get confused. This is just a full discord.js thing. And throughout this whole series, you'll see that um, we're going to try to do basic stuff, moderate stuff, and also complex stuff going throughout the whole series. So if you ever need some help, join our Discord. It's um, right here. And um, that website should be going up soon. It's almost done. It's almost completed. And um, I'll tell you guys the link once it is out. Follow our Twitter. We got all that stuff up there. So we're going to start off by creating an app. And obviously, we're going to call it Tutorial Bot. You can see I've already tried this. But basically, you can see here we have a client ID. Uh, I'm not going to... Actually, you know what? Fine, we'll do this. We'll put a uh, menu docs logo right there. And uh, just ignore the rest of the stuff. You don't really need it yet. We're going to save changes and we're going to leave it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to download a text editor. Uh, it can be Atom. A lot of people use Atom, but instead I use uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, I prefer this. I don't know why. Um, it's just what I like. Um, you can also use Notepad++ or Notepad. But I just prefer this one because these these guys here have int uh, integrated uh, consoles and debugging stuff and all that kind of stuff. And it will help you guys out immensely. Um, but yeah, let's just bring up this stuff. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to actually create a folder. I've created mine on my desktop. And what you want to do is you just want to open that. Um, that's the link thing is this thing here. Um, ignore that. You don't need that. I'm going to create a folder right here. It's going to call tutorial bot. What I'm going to do is open it and then we're going to hold shift, right click on the mouse. And um, if you just right click normally, you will see that um, there's not the open command prompt here. And we're going to open that. And what we're going to do is we're going to type npm init. And that's going to come up with, uh, if it wants to hurry up, we're just going to do tutorial. But remember not to use um, upper cases or anything like that. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, to a tutorial bot um yeah so we're just going to type this a lot of people use the bot.js or index.js or sometimes people use their bot name.js it doesn't really matter uh don't need that don't need that don't need that and then i'm just going to type oh remember not to use capitals guys um don't need that either and then we'll type yes the next thing we're going to download is npm install discord.js and you can do uh, G, which will install it globally. Um, if you guys want to do that because you want to create like numerous amounts of bots, then I would suggest doing that. However, I'm going to use dash save, and this will just save it into. I, I really wish I downloaded PowerShell, but it's just going to save it into here. And then what we're going to do is just going to install that. So that's downloaded. As you can see right here, there is a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this. Uh, we're going to open a folder. If it's going to take its time, um, I'm going to go to here and then tutorial bot. Oh, wait, no, this one here. Select that folder and then it's going to bring it up on the side. This is something you want to do because you can have uh, like numerous amounts of folders in there. And this will come in handy when we uh, implement a command handler. So, what we're going to do actually is create a new file. Um, we're going to call it index.js uh, in, uh, index it's going to be a js folder and then we're also going to call bot config.json and this is where we're going to hide our token as well okay so what we want to do in here is we want to do this and make sure to add a colon after we also want to do this and that will add a double of that uh, we're just going to quickly grab this token so what we want to do is bring this back up we're going to go to the bot um, i've just created it what um, it will prompt you to say yes to this, but you want to open up your token. You want to grab this, click continue, uh, sorry, click control copy. Um, it has a copy thing there. Do that. And then what you want to do is go over here and we'll make a prefix also. And in this case, we'll do our prefix as, oh, sorry, do our prefix as this. 
and that will just be our prefix for now um yeah it was just red um, but we're gonna have an exclamation mark it doesn't matter what prefix you have it could be this and all you have to do is type that every time but we're just gonna have an exclamation mark um but yeah never show this token to anyone um otherwise you know it can end up in bad stuff so if we want to go over here we what we want to do first is obviously we want to pull the folder that has our token and prefix in it so we call it bot config and we equal require and then because it's gonna be in the same folder we just want to add one dot and then we do bot config bot config dot json and we just want to hit that okay next thing we want to do is obviously we want to pull discord now discord is obviously the thing that we want we want the discord.js requirement in there if i can spell require properly and we add discord.js in there and then we'll do another semicolon what you guys want to learn to do is use semicolons because they it's it's just a better practice and then what we want to do is because we've just required discord now we're going to require our new discord client now don't get confused okay yes it says discord client but we're actually going to use um obviously the const bot we're going to define discord client as bot a lot of people will define it as a client sorry i couldn't i couldn't think for a second there and we're just gonna just do that it's just a normal thing that a couple people do we're actually gonna split this up we'll do it there and then the first thing we're gonna want to do is create a ready event so if we do ready uh sorry do bot slash on we're gonna do ready and then them and then we're gonna async uh into nothing arrow bam we're gonna add one of those and then we'll go up one and we'll do console.log and this will put it in our console when we create it and it's better if you use the um are they back ticks i'm not sure yeah i, I think they're back ticks and then obviously we want to do bot.user.username sorry there's a hair in my mouth that's no good um space is online now this is just the basis code um what we're actually going to do now as well is we're going to set the activity so bot dot user dot set uh activity i'm going to set the activity as so this was the the text i'm going to set activity as for instance um just hello for now and then come over here uh, do one of these bad boys and then we'll do it as yeah yeah sorry type then st streaming okay that's just the bot it's going to be streaming um that just uh, i don't know it just kind of looks cool i guess and then the next thing we're actually going to do is since this is already a thing uh we'll actually hit save it's a good thing if you guys hit save um you know as you know as much as you can we're going to create a message event so if we do this we're going to create an async message of if i can type jesus christ an async message event um and you guys will if I, dude, seriously, what, what's going on today? It's just not my day, is it? So we're going to come back up here. We're going to space if. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so if it's a bot message. So if the message that comes up is from the, the author bot or from the bot that we are creating right now, what's it, what is it going to do? It's going to return. But we're also going to add something else. So if we add these guys in here, it just means, uh, it, it just means or. So we're gonna do message dot channel dot type equals DM, and this just means if it's a DM message, if the if someone's trying to DM the bot, um, it's just gonna return. And I, I guess not many people do it like this. A lot of people do it as in um, they do it like this, um, and then if message, I, I should have just saved that message dot channel dot type equals uh dm close a uh, return um a lot of people do it like that but you know i'll I'd do it the other way so we're just gonna backspace a little bit until we're up there again hello okay we're back so the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull our prefix from the convict file so we're gonna let prefix equal bot config dot prefix and uh this this from before uh, it's going to pull this part here from the config file and, um, you know, just be here for us to um, define and use. So we're going to, the next thing we're going to do is a message array. 
So this is just oh fucking spell. Jesus Christ. Message. Okay, sorry, I just had to read that. Um, and message dot content dot split, and this is just gonna split the content. We're gonna have a space in between, so every single args in between is gonna have a space in between. Um, and then we're gonna let CMD. Um, so you can do command as well. Why is my editor messing up today? We can do command, but for this instance, we're gonna do CMD. We're gonna do let message array array i can sp dude i seriously cannot spell today um zero like that and then for the next one we're gonna do args yes that's the one sorry i couldn't think of it for a second args and then message array array jesus christ message array dot slice and then we're gonna add a one in there and this is just going to slice the, I believe, the prefix off. And then for now, we're going to add a single command. And it's the most generic command that everybody adds in. So what we want to do is we want to add back ticks. We want to type in a dollar sign, um, curly brackets, prefix, close the curly brackets, if I can find the curly brackets. And then we're just going to say hello. And then we want to add a open curly bracket bam and then we're just going to do return or you don't really have to do return you can do just message.channel.send but for this instance we're just going to do return message.channel.send and in the message we're going to say hello a lot of people will also do this uh message uh message dot reply uh, you add a space after sorry you do this and then add a space after because it does the user's message I'm um, sorry it does the user's username so for instance we'll do the username and then it will add a comma in there and then if you don't add the space after the message it will just continue like this but because we've added the thing here we can say hello um, but we're not going to do that we're going to just backspace that um, so we have message or channel to send hello and then Oh, sorry. I've, I've missed the most important thing. Obviously we have to do bot login and then, uh, sorry, bot config, uh, dot token. If I can spell token and don't have to return, but I'm gonna do that. So this is the basis of the file. This is what you want to have. Uh, we're gonna hit save and, um, I guess, well, I'll, I'll I'm going to make a bat inside the uh, thing so you'll see on the side that I've added a start underscore bot this is just basically a text file I'm just gonna open it quick oh sorry hold up I'm just gonna open edit sorry and this is what it is we're just gonna do this right now because we don't have node mon or anything let's just do node uh, we don't need node mon um, but for development kind of stuff, I guess you could use node mom, but I'm not going to use it It has a lot of bugs and issues with it. Um to keep my bots up. I use um, pm2 and uh, forever So I wouldn't recommend using node mon at all um, Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this and hopefully there's no errors and if there is I'm probably gonna die So with the power of editing you would have not noticed that I made a big error so what we want to do is actually I'm just going to complete this tutorial with me adding the bot. So what we're going to do is you'll see it's on the main page right here. Um, right here. What we're going to do is we're going to stick it in the client ID area. All the links will be down in the description if you need them. And we're going to add the bot by doing this menu docs and I'm not a robot. Okay. And then since it's added, it's running. It's all good. It's not running. It shouldn't be running. Why is it running? Hmm. Hold up. That shouldn't be running. Anyways, uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to run the bat. And that should mean that it's up and running. It says it's online. Um, with our code, if we bring up the code again, it says it should say hello. You're in the thing. And it says hello right here. And uh, we're going to run our command. We're going to say hello. And it responds with hello. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Um, leave down in the comment section what else you want us to do. I have a list of um, a lot of things that aren't really out there in tutorial form and a lot of things that happen on day-to-day -day basis within the 
source code discord and the discord.js uh, discord a lot of questions that get asked all the time um, I'm gonna be making videos on them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been uh, Connor from menu docs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers